My name is Sarah Rappar. I live and work in New York and I'm a mixed media artist. So this is my studio and um, this is my work. This is a piece that is in uh, the process. Um, these are uh, stars from the American flag. This is a very heavy tarp that's been stained with various things. And these are gas masks and patches. I work with a lot of found objects and I go to these places where it's like a million things and I pick two. These are all hands which I think are really interesting and beautiful. I'm not sure how I just, they, they have this serene, that like they're begging or something, or they're asking for something. And then these are really amazing. I can't even believe I found these. These are, what are they called? Birthing? Where they put, you know, when you are born, they put these on your head. Can you believe they put this on? <laughs> so this is a very sharp knife that is used for gutting. Animals, people, it doesn't matter. So I'm collecting all these objects that are kind of standing out to me, I guess. When I was five years old, uh, my family and I escaped on foot for seven days from Tehran to Turkey to Dubai and then from Dubai to uh, New York. Now I'm 35 and I've been here for 30 years. I spent, uh, I think, like six years going back and forth between Tehran and New York. In my 20s, it, it was that time period in my life where I was questioning my identity and I was like very much thinking, I'm so, you know, I was so like Iranian and I want to go home. and. And then going there, it was very much a shock because I realized I'm a foreigner to these people because um, I've been living abroad all these years. I thought I was coming home, but I realized, my God, it's almost like you're never going to be considered. You're always a foreigner, and that's what I am in New York. I don't believe in nationality and religion, all these things, and that's why actually when people say like, your work is about identity, it began there, but the, like after I explore that, now I'm like, I just want to shed everything that has to do with that. So all these lines that we've drawn, it's like, it's, it's bullshit. I don't think I'm an immigrant, I think we're all immigrants. Where I specifically am, I'm very much affected by my environment. So from the photography even, um, I was uh, finding costumes. And then the flag series, it was textiles. And now with the found objects, wherever I am, if, especially the last year and a half, because I haven't been able to leave, my work has completely changed because the objects that I'm working with, everything's limited to a certain um, geographic location. It, I think this is all just for my subconscious, because sometimes I see it, I don't know what it is, but I just, I, it grabs me. And then of course, this is Jesus Christ. I have a lot of Jesus Christ in my work. I don't know if it's because I, the feelings of guilt that I've had my whole life. I don't know if it's about surrendering, about sacrifice, but that's the one thing with all these pieces. I'm getting to know myself. Years later, I'll look at it and I'll be like, oh my God, that's, that's what that was. So. I know I'm like, I'm almost healing myself because I'm a very emotional and angry person. And I know when I do the work, when it's the pieces out, I'm, I'm calm somehow. It, 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 I know I'm healed. It's like therapy. This is actually, this is a back brace, which I loved. I haven't seen too many of these. It's very old and I think it's just amazing. But this one, I think it's, I think this is from, because I bought a couple of straight coats and I think this is uh, from the back. I'm not sure if it's from the back of a straight coat or... It's a back brace that fell apart. This is amazing. This is very old. It's really old and it's just amazing. And when you think someone actually wore this and like, well, this is supposed to like bend, but like this is almost impossible to, you have to like pull this to, it's really amazing. It's, a, it's so ugly and it's like beautiful at the same time. It's the strangest, strangest thing. So I have no idea like how this is. This is like, I, I don't even know how this is gonna become a textile. I like to be on my own, especially when I'm making the work. Um, I don't really like to uh, have anyone around when I'm making the work or just be even connected to an arts community. I think it's a great idea. I think you should do what works for you. And for me, at this point, I'm isolated. In my mind, I'm still painting because when I have this like huge cluster of objects and textiles and all these colors and textures and things to work with, I, the way I kind of piece it together and the flag to me, it's like a canvas even though it's not white, but it's like a canvas. So I kind of, it's color, it's composition, it's the same thing as painting. And I try to like piece them together. The art history and museums, that's like the main goal of everything for me. What I live for is that, you know, that permanence, that being a part of that history.